The digital medicine industry is booming. Healthcare accounts for nearly a fifth of the GDP in the U.S. and over $4 billion were poured into health technology startups in the last year. Though there are a number of barriers from old school regulatory institutions preventing the technology from reaching consumers at the moment, we spoke to Haley Tecco, founder of Rock Health, to discuss the future of medical technology. We're right on the precipice of giving people greater access right in their home and yeah. making our cell phone the, the clinic. Yeah. Absolutely. What, I mean, what, how will this change healthcare? This is, this is what's changing healthcare. It's this rapid consumerization of an industry that has long been a brick and mortar experience. And our generation is connected. We expect to have what we want when we want it. We want to own our own data. Um, we want to have, you know, control over our health. And, and that's making a huge impact on kind of this traditional old guard healthcare system and they certainly weren't ready for what's happening but it, it's happening quickly. So from kind of picking health insurance to you know being able to see a physician to being able to measure your own heart rate at home whatever it is that you want to manage the entire stack um, is just rapidly being consumerized so that we have a, a, a say in this and that scares a lot of people because if it's not done right it can be very dangerous and, um, and you know, the healthcare system does have our health in mind um, for the most part, so. We're potentially giving up a lot to get better health data. Do you see any problems with that? Or would that maybe prevent anyone from getting better health care? Yeah, well, so what's interesting, I'm sure you heard about the big anthem breach where there are 80 million medical records that were hacked into, but the actual health care data, the medical histories of those people, that actually wasn't really the issue and that wasn't what got people up in arms. It was really because your healthcare with Medicare, Medicaid, your code, I guess, on your card is actually your social security number. So it was really about identity theft that could happen from having all this medical, all these medical records exposed. I think your actual health data is of, I, I, I can't imagine the use for your health data to a hacker, it's really having your personal identity, your social security number, your birth date, your, your full name, your address, all of that that is, that is kind of the data that it needs to be protected. Um, using the data from 23andMe to find you know, new correlations and new diseases and markers is like a tremendous opportunity um, and I think offsets kind of the risk of having that data hacked into. 23andMe, that's one of the examples of the FDA impeding progress for some of these startups. Uh, what have you seen in this space? What's going on with that? Ann Wojcicki has been an amazing pioneer, taking really taking one for the team for a lot of entrepreneurs in working with the FDA. Obviously, they shut them down, and then, as you you said, you know, kind of approved this one marker for them to do the diagnostic. Um, but in addition to the FDA working on mobile apps, which you know, consumers should definitely be protected. Um, but you know, there's a point where the, if the process is unclear to entrepreneurs, then it's problematic. A lot of this has come down the line in just the last year or is coming down the line this year. Why has yeah. it taken so long to get to this point? And, and then just all this, I'm right. I mean, yeah. it just, some of this stuff just makes sense. Sure. Like why, why, is, why were we still on a paper system yeah. now we're digitalizing everything just now? Yeah, well, I mean, healthcare certainly is one of the last frontiers for technology um, and it has been growing rapidly. And I think a big part of it is the venture community is starting to warm up to healthcare. So when we were starting Rock Health five years ago, most tech VCs wouldn't touch healthcare with a 10 foot pole. And uh, now we're starting to see just a ton of tech investors, traditional technology investors realize that there's a huge opportunity and that they actually have a lot of great insights into how to build great technology companies. There are a lot of huge problems, multi-billion dollar problems that we have in healthcare that can be addressed using technology. But last year we actually saw I think it was four billion dollars worth of venture funding flowing into the space, which was over 100% growth from the year before. So every year we're just seeing more and more venture dollars um, pour into digital health, which is really helping these companies grow at scale a lot faster. Um, so I'd say, yeah, I mean, since I've I've been in this industry for five years, it's really turned around, and it's a it's a great time to be an innovator with an idea for uh, disrupting the healthcare system. What are you most excited about? So I love tools that I can use as a consumer because it, be, it comes very real to me. So I love um, thinking about tools that, again, break down the hospital walls, don't require me to go into um, you know, a doctor's office so that it's more convenient, it's more accessible, and kind of makes sense for, for a, a consumer. 
Are there any kind of innovations that you're seeing that are, are helping with uh, encouraging the, the preventative behavior rather than treating things when they get to a certain point? We call this digital medicine and the area specifically around digital diagnostics. So if we can help people understand their state of health sooner and earlier and give them the tools to um, prevent a disease or treat that disease in a way that is much more personalized uh, is, is an area that we're quite excited about. Well, Hallie, thank you so much for speaking with us. This is really fascinating and it's, it's a topic that I can tell is close to your heart. Yeah. And I'm excited for the future of digital health. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so are we. Thanks so much for stopping by Rock Health today.